How's everyone today? This is Chris here for TechTablets.com. Just having a look at some gaming here on the Surface 3. Running a few store games I'm going to test out here. At the moment I'm just playing a little bit of Dungeon Hunter 5. And as you can see that it's running just fine, I'll show you. No real problem here, even the older generation Adams can run this game. No issues, so playing this on the Surface 3 is fine. It's uh, not a bad game for a touch game. You can also plug in a Xbox 360 controller into the USB 3 port here and use that if you wanted to, which would probably be better than touch. It's a lot more uh, playable then, and it's like a kind of a, well, like a console experience then, using a proper hardware controller. So there's no issues running this one at all. Looks good. Sounds good. Sounds really excellent out of these Surface 3 speakers here. The two front facing speakers sound just like the Surface Pro 3. Okay, next up a bit of Asphalt 8. Run that one right now. Another top Windows Store game, this one here. Good game for tablets. And just get straight into it and see how this runs. Now this is a game here that does adjust the graphics settings, the level of details according to the power it detects of your system. And it does a pretty good job at scaling there. It's uh, nice and smooth at the moment. It's running in the native screen resolution of course. And it does look a lot better than what I'm used to seeing on the lower powered Atom tablets with the bay trails. It's looking uh, definitely a lot sharper there, like it has some anti analyzing. Crash. Not very good driving there. Not good at all. I do have a tripod in the way, as I'll use that as my excuse. So you can see, yeah, another game that uh, looks great, runs great. Surface 3 has no trouble at all running this. And of course, the now the Surface, sorry, the, the Windows Store now has uh, quite a good collection of games. Now it's slowly getting better. Android still has a massive collection, so they've, they've got a, a lot of catching up to do when it comes to the uh, amount of games there are. There's some good ones now on, on the Windows Store. Okay, so I'll just try another game now here. I think I've got uh, Modern Combat 5 should be installed. Now this game is very heavy. This is a graphically intensive game. I haven't tested it yet on the Surface, so it'll be interesting to see how it runs. The game is definitely one of the harder and most heavier games you can get. Probably poorly optimized as well, actually, to be honest. You know, I need to download some files there, which is interesting. Okay, I just paused that for a second because I thought I might have to download another gigabyte of data, but that seems I don't, which is good. This is a game too, I think this one supports the Xbox 360 controller. Definitely looks good, this game. I mean, it, it looks like an old uh, Xbox game or something. The level of graphics on there is quite impressive. I haven't really played much of this game myself, to be honest. I only really bought it to test it out on these tablets that I review. And it is a great looking game, but uh, yeah, very heavy. But so far, it seems to be running quite well. It seems that uh, either they've optimized it and, and definitely the Surface 3 Atom, the newer one, the Cherry Trail, seems to be uh, handling things a little bit better. So I'm just detecting a tiny little bit of slowdown there, actually. There is, yeah, a little. Probably all the smoking effects as well. Drag to jump the cover. Ah, oh, fine, 
is all good to control. So I'm going to see if I can have a look around here. Seems to be fast enough. Definitely running way, way better than the Bay Trails. But uh, Chip is definitely helping out the newer graphics chip that is in this one. So instead of having those uh, four executional cores that the Bay Trails have, this now has 16. And you can definitely see that there because that, that would just lag. It would be so laggy on the old ones, on the old Bay, Bay Trail Atom chips. So the Cherry Trail, definitely an improvement. And finally, the last game I have here to test is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is the Windows version, obviously, from the store, so it's a more optimized to run on tablets, and it does actually run better than just installing this. Uh, go offline here. Have a jump right into it. skip through the cutscenes there's no point in watching any of that uh, these settings are running everything actually on a maximum here and it seems to run just fine with everything on maximum well it does seem to be a little running a little bit slower maybe the temperatures is causing it to throttle a little bit here uh, yeah that does seem to have a bit of slowdown so it was definitely working faster when I tried it last time I'll have to lower those settings there, I think. That doesn't seem too bad. And again, you, this is one of those games that you can plug in a controller and play with that. It's a lot easier than using touch. I hate playing games with touch. I really do. Try to avoid it at all costs. So you can see that, yeah, the, the San Andreas is going to run fine. It's an old game now. And it has been tidied up and optimized for tablets here by Rockstar, so. Okay, so that's just a look at some uh, store games. What I'll do now is just check the temperatures now after doing a bit of gaming and see how hot the Surface 3 is now after this. So we're running HW info here in the background. Uh, these are the temperatures. So we got up to 84 degrees that's actually the same I had it uh, when I was gaming with some steam games some older games so it seems to max out around that mark there which is quite warm that is very hot and I'll just actually have a look at the back of the tablet and see how warm that is use my little uh, infrared probe here temperature probe just have a look and see what kind of temperatures I'm getting. So that's uh, 34 degrees on the surface around here. Everywhere, yeah. Hottest place, just about here. It's not too bad. And for you people that uh, like Fahrenheit, there we go, 94, 94, 95. So it does get warmer at the back of it, warm to the touch. But, you know, that's not going to burn you or anything like nothing concerning. Even though, as we just clearly saw there, that 84 degrees is quite warm for the uh, little chip to get up to. But uh, it seems to handle it. And the casing will no doubt help to uh, be like a thermal hence heat sink to spread out the heat everywhere there. Will definitely be helping the tablet. Because it's not getting hot at all. I mean, up to almost about 100 is about the maximum it's going to get. 100 Fahrenheit, 35, 36 degrees there. Okay, so that's just some um, store gaming there on the Surface 3. Thank you for watching the video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe for more up and coming videos. Thanks for watching.